everyone. Welcome to Beauty in the Garden. I'm T. So in today's video, I want to talk to you guys about the cabbage looper. Now for new gardeners, uh, you might not know what they are, but it's just basically a caterpillar that really just gnaws on your plant. Now I haven't sprayed in about six days, well, this particular area over here. And I just want to show you guys the damage that they can do. So it comes from the yellow and white moth. And if you see here, you see one here. And if you see these lovely droppings down here, this is how you really can find them. When you see droppings like this, this is a sign that you have a cabbage looper. Now I'm gonna shoot a little quick little picture right in the corner. So just in case if you guys never seen it, uh, exactly um, what moth creates this I'm gonna shoot that in the corner screen but look how much damage they can do and if you see here it's been here for a while look at that see it that lovely caterpillar there and here goes another big fat one right there okay so am I gonna take care of this? Yes, I am. I'm not afraid of them at all. I'm, you know, it's just, you know, one of those things that happens. So, but here is my Brussels. So I'll take care of this issue. I won't take care of it tonight because I say I'm filming really, really late. But I wanted to show you guys because a lot of you guys um, probably do not know uh, what they are, but that is what that damage is from. Okay, but here is the Brussels. Uh, I actually are trying, literally, to put on some Brussels. And then, since I'm going to take care of this problem tomorrow, I'm gonna take care of all of this. See all that yellowing down there? I'm gonna go ahead and remove at least two inches off of the bottom base of my Brussels. Then wanting to put on more growth. So, see all that yellowing down there? I'm gonna clean all that up, okay? Um, I don't see any more cabbage loopers. It's just on that one. So I guess I missprayed this one. Um, and that one took a beating. Okay. Now over here is my flat Dutch. I'm so happy about my flat Dutch. It is putting on some major growth in the last uh, week. It's just doing beautifully. It's just a gorgeous, stunning plant. Right here is my collards. This is my Georgia collards. You guys can see my Georgia collar is right here. Let's see if any bug activity going on. Uh, yep, right there. So I will just be coming out here and spraying and the BT and taking care of that. I will be harvesting some more, uh, more greens. So yes, look at this. This is another uh, collard. So that's a collard, collard. And these two here are uh, Georgia collards, okay? And I feel like the leaves, I feel like they're a little limp a little. So that means I need some water. Uh, let's see, yeah, see that? Need water. So, and that's another way you can kind of tell too by the texture of your leaves. If your plant needs some water, let's see. Any more worms? Yeah, I mean, any more caterpillars? Yeah, yep. So definitely tomorrow plan is going to be to spray my sand pit garden here. Now let's go on to the other side. Let's see if they have any, we have any issues over here in the sand pit. So right here is a broccoli. And like I said, I do need to come. So these are good. This one is really good. I don't see any, any bug activity. The head is still nice and firm. I will be cleaning up the base of my plants. Okay, another col uh, another broccoli. See some damage. We're gonna take those off. Uh, oh, this one. See? So I need to come out because my spray must be wearing off. Um, that is the BT. So look at these Brussels, you guys. Yay. These are massive over here. So I see I need to clean them up. There go the Brussels forming. See a little bit of yellowing, just like the other side. 
Um, any bug activity? I don't see any. I don't see any on the Brussels. So this is a patch of Brussels and all the way around here is all broccoli. broccoli and down here is the red beets see a weed and they're doing okay I'm seeing some spotting um, this is a disease if you see these spots this is a disease okay so I will come out here Take my time and remove those leaves so they won't affect the rest of the plant okay so they will that disease will spread throughout this plant okay all right and then right here is a giant red mustard right here but this is the sand pit and how everything is going out here. I'm so happy about how everything is looking. A lot of things have took on some great growth and I'm really liking, really, really, really liking that, okay? So I come out here and fertilize, spray, and clean up my plants. Definitely, definitely come out here and clean up my plants. Just a quick update on what's going on in the sand pit and showing you guys um, the pest that we have here in the garden and have to take care of them because if not they'll eat your plant and matter of fact tomorrow i might not even spray it all depends on how i really really feel but the bt i might just go ahead and get me a pair of gloves and move remove them off of my plants manually but we'll see it all depends how i feel tomorrow but here is the sand pit garden oh my gosh I just love it. I just love seeing my plants doing good. So I hope everyone's garden is doing great. I hope everybody having a beautiful and blessed day. And as well, I always tell you guys, please don't forget to give the video a thumbs up, subscribe to the channel, hit that notification bell so you can be notified when I do upload a video. And like I always tell you guys, remember, there's beauty in everyone's garden. And bye-bye for now.